Now, full programme midweek matches in Spain. In fact, Villarreal have already beaten Atletico Madrid today. Meanwhile, Barca playing host to Osasuna. That will be fine at the camp now. Osasuna, bottom of the table, are awful. Meanwhile, a little more interesting is Real Madrid's clash against Deportivo La Coruña. According to the SBI, Real Madrid big favourites, but it was confirmed today. Gareth Bale out for three to four weeks. And of course, there'll be no Sergio Ramos. He's suspended after getting sent off in the Clasico. This is what Fabio Capello had to say about that challenge. A straight red for Ramos was the correct decision. Just look at the lunge on Messi. It's criminal. Each time there is a Madrid-Barca duel at the Bernabeu, certain Madrid players go out with the intention of injuring Messi. Sergio Ramos, of course, has come out and said this week, I saw the foul again. In no moment did I want to hurt the player. He heard the Capello challenge was and Madrid, it was just a yellow. Capello's an ex-Madrid manager, isn't he? Indeed, yes. Ooh, that would stoke a fire, will not it? <laughs> well, he's yeah. not holding He's back, not going to Madrid sure. anytime soon. But <laughs> you, you know you've played the game. Did he mean to hurt Messi uh, well, with that challenge? I, I, all, I, look, you take it to a court of law and you, you try and prove intent and anything, it's difficult. But it was reckless mm -hmm. and dangerous, in my opinion. I mean, you can't tackle two-footed. That was, that was what they did in Spain 25 years ago. Look, it's, it's hard to say whether he intended to hurt Messi but no question, that is a challenge that hurts if you if you make contact. And now Sergio Ramos with this with this tackle kind of spells out what Madrid were doing all game long. Casemiro, how he wasn't sent off is, is beyond me. But his job, his primary task was clearly to stop Messi at all costs. And then, but without question, Sergio Ramos's challenge on, on Messi was by far the most egregious of the incidents, fully deserving of a red. He didn't make contact, thankfully so, but you don't need to make contact for it to be a, for it to be a red. Did he want to hurt him, Stevie? Did he, did he, did it go through his mind, do you, you think? You know, the lads are saying, though, it's hard, to, it's hard to say there's intent. If you leave the ground with two feet, with your studs up, challenging anybody, you're only going to do one thing, mm. and that is hurt them. So to turn around and say that he shouldn't have got a red card is a complete and utter nonsense. And the only reason Messi hasn't broken a leg or anything like that is because he's got out the road. And it's not the first time mm. that Ramos has gone after Messi. You go back and look at, look at other uh, Classicos. Every single game, he tries at least once to have a go at him. He will be suspended for just this match against uh, Lacar which Lacar is which, which is ridiculous, especially when you consider that Neymar got a three-match ban, two of them for sarcastically mm -hmm. applauding an official. Mm -hmm. Well, the Spanish do things differently in many ways when it comes yeah. to disciplinary and discipline. Uh, of course, if we're talking Premier League, it's three straight, guaranteed. Uh, and other leagues would be the same. So I suppose when you look at it on that sense, he might have just thought, you know what, this could be worth it for me. Yeah, well, without question. I, I think if you're Real Madrid, never mind what the ruling is, never mind how the FA judges these things. You see that challenge and you see Sergio here, I must get one game. You take that and you run. Yeah. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's, it's going to be. Well, it takes Messi out the equation for the other games. If that goes, if Messi doesn't hurdle that, oh. he 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 he's going to be a lucky boy to be not going off in the stretch here. Mm. Potentially out for the rest of the season. While Ramos only gets one game, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. I'm sorry. It's obviously going to be a patched up defence end for Real Madrid going into that clash against Depp. Or it's thought that Varane might be back to partner mm -hmm. Nacho at the back. Right. Having said all of that. Real Madrid should be strong enough, shouldn't they, to get the win? Yeah, they've got, they've got too much going forward to, to let the lack of defensive cover uh, ultimately hurt them. Uh, I don't see how they don't get the three points. Uh, Ronaldo's back scoring goals. I mean, what a problem Zidane has. He doesn't have Bale. He has to decide between Isco and Asensio. So it's not that big a problem, is it? Going forward, they've got too much.